Microsoft SharePoint 2010 – An Overview In this video, we'll talk about what SharePoint is, the different SharePoint 2010 products, the SharePoint tools you can use, and the integration between SharePoint and Office 2010. So let's get started. SharePoint is a web application platform. It is not a program. It is a collection of many different products and technologies put together. SharePoint is a server application. It is not installed on individual machines. It provides a secure web-based business collaboration platform. And SharePoint is a collaborative technology. It facilitates information sharing and communication in a central location. And it is centrally managed. It uses specialized websites with specialized elements, such as central calendars, task lists, discussion boards, wikis, blogs, and libraries for documents, pictures, and forms. There are different SharePoint 2010 products. There's the SharePoint Foundation, which is a basic service. It's a free add-in for Windows Server 2008, and it's good for small teams and projects. There's SharePoint Server, which extends functionality and is a separate software program for large organizations. It has advanced search and document management features and personalized sites for users to share information. And then there's SharePoint Designer, which is web designer application software. Microsoft has a SharePoint 2010 wheel which is used to help describe what SharePoint's tools can facilitate inside organizations. The wheel refers to six outcomes. Sites, which is the contextual work environment. Practically everything in SharePoint is site-based and can be accessed via a company intranet or the internet. It is where users are typically collaborators, not just viewers. Communities, which is a location for communication. It's special collaborative sites where people are working together on common goals. Content, which is for document and record management. This is where documents are managed, stored, updated, and collaborated upon. You can edit documents in a browser or within a program such as Word on your computer. Search, and there's a massive built-in search engine in SharePoint that can search communities and content, people and sites by using keywords. Insights, which brings information together in order to understand it better. Self-service business intelligence for the information user, a way to organize large amounts of content from different locations. And you can use features such as dashboards, scorecards, diagrams, and reports. And finally, Composites, which is the integration of data from business systems. You can use tools such as InfoPath, SharePoint Designer 2010, and Visio 2010 to integrate your business data. So let's talk about SharePoint's functionality. First of all, SharePoint is made up of sites, collections of pages, lists, and libraries. A site may include subsites. Sites are easy to set up and easy to work with. You may have team sites for collaboration on projects, document sites to share and collaborate on files, meeting sites to organize meetings, and each site has navigation capabilities and a common look. They may be customized, permissions may be set, and workflows identified. Lists and libraries, the building blocks of all SharePoint sites, Lists are collections of data, similar to a database table. Examples of lists are task lists, announcements, calendars, contacts, discussion boards. Libraries are lists of files stored in SharePoint. You can store documents, pictures, and forms. Web parts are sections inserted onto pages displaying content, such as a calendar, or a document library, or a contact list and web parts can be placed on any page type. And there are three primary page content types. There's the wiki pages, 
which are all over a SharePoint site. For example, the home page may be a wiki page. New pages created on a team site are wiki pages. It's used when you want to share information in a collaborative manner, and it's the default page type. Web part pages contain web parts that display lists of data, information graphics, and publishing pages are available for publishing sites. And finally, the search engine, where you can easily find information throughout a SharePoint site. There are different SharePoint user groups. There's visitors, which are limited to viewing and reading content only. Members, who have the ability to read, contribute, modify, and delete site content. And owners, who have all of the member rights, plus they can approve content, create new sites and content structures, and modify the overall site. And finally, the integration with Microsoft Office 2010. Word, Excel, PowerPoint files can all be saved, edited, collaborated upon, and managed on a SharePoint site. There's versioning capability, which is a method by which successive duplications of a document are numbered and saved, each as their own file. And you can retrieve earlier versions of a file and see a file history. There's co-authoring, which makes it possible for multiple users to work on a file at the same time without interfering with others' changes. And with Outlook, you can add SharePoint calendars, task lists, and contact lists into your Outlook so that there is a two-way link and you can change the information on either side. And this has been an overview of Microsoft SharePoint 2010.